Far on the north of Scotland, on the island of Orkney, there is said to live a terrifying beast, a demon, a creature ripped purely from nightmares and given freedom to roam on both land and sea. The Devil of the Sea, known to most Arcadians as the Nukla V. The Nukla V, unlike many creatures in folklore, was a being of pure hatred and evil. Its only purpose was to bring terrible misfortune to the islanders. The home of the beast was thought to be in the North Sea, which surrounds the Orkney Islands. It is known to emerge from its underwater slumber and walk freely upon the land. As you can imagine, there are many conflicting descriptions of this creature, some from legend, some from supposed eyewitnesses. What is consistent throughout the descriptions is the monstrous and grotesque nature of the demon. It is said the Nukla V as the head and torso of a giant man, a great maw of a mouth incorporated into its elongated pig-like snout with a single eye that burned with a bright red flame. From its upper torso hung long arms that could scrape the ground with talon-like fingers. The lower half of the creature's body was that of a great horse, but most disturbing of all was that the creature from head to hoof was skinless. Only raw sinew-like muscle could be seen writhing and snapping with its inhuman movements. Covering this beast was a web of black ichor-filled veins pulsating with each pace the demon took, truly a vision from humanity's darkest nightmares. It was thought by the islanders that the very breath of the Nukla V was a foul poison that would wilt crops, cause droughts, and was held responsible for many an epidemic. With this being said, the beast was not all-powerful. In fact, it was caged within its home beneath the waves during the summer months. According to tales told by the old Arcadians, there was one entity with enough power to keep the Nukla V restrained, the Great Mither of the Sea, but more on that another time perhaps. The Nukla V detested fresh water, such as streams and rivers. To such an extent, in fact, the demon would not walk upon the land during the rain. This was the only known way to escape from the beast. Stories tell of islanders who jumped into rivers or lochs to escape. One, in particular, was recorded by Walter Denison, an Orkney folklore researcher. It was told to him by a farm worker named Thomas. Thomas recalls walking home late one evening, and he saw a great object rise beyond his vision. As the shape drew closer, a large glaring red flame was seen. Thomas knew it could be the dreaded Nukla V. He remembered tales of the demon's fear for fresh water and ran with all the speed he could muster to a nearby river. With the hooves of the devil hot in his trail, the farmer leapt the river and landed safe on the other side. But as the farmer would lead us to believe, not without his favourite hat. Looking back at the Nukla V, he saw the fearsome beast raging like the crashing waves on the other side of the bank and in its hands, the young farmer's bonnet. With the realisation of how close his death had been, Thomas fell unconscious. It certainly is a wonderful tale, but not the last we would hear of the beast. On the islands, in time gone by, there was a practice of gathering and burning kelp. The ash produced was used in the making of soaps and glass, but the process of burning released a foul-smelling white smoke. These toxic fumes enraged the Nukla V, who could not withstand the oily smoke. His wrath for this incident was in the form of a new deadly plague called the Mortachine, an infectious disease that targeted the Equidae family, such as horses, mules and donkeys. The animals would suffer lesions and ulceration in the lungs leading to death. First, this happened to the horses on the island of Stronsi, but quickly it spread throughout all of the islands. This was the vengeance reaped on the islanders for disturbing the devil of the sea. The origin of the Nukla V is thought to be found in Celtic and Scandinavian mythology. This would make sense, considering its place in the mythology and history of the Orkney Islands, whom for a time were called home not only to the Celtic tribes in the north, but also to the Vikings. The Norsemen had settled many of the islands and used them as a hub to launch pirate expeditions along the coast of mainland Scotland. The Nukla V seems to be an amalgam of the Celtic water horse or Kelpie and some dark spectre from Norse legend. What we do know for certain is that the deadly pestilence of the Mortachine was in fact an infectious bacterial disease we now know as glanders. It is caused by the contamination of food and water with the bacteria. The condition could be spread through contact with the animal or its body fluid. Glanders as a disease has been well documented throughout history 
with one of the earliest descriptions coming from Hippocrates in 425 BCE. All in all, the skinless, horse-born demon, the Nukla V, is one of the most malevolent and evil creatures in all of Scottish folklore. Thanks for listening. <laughs>